Hi everybody, welcome to another um, DIY project that I have for you guys today and it's some children's girl sandals and today's design that I'm making is the mermaid angel okay it's this design mermaid angel okay so what you're going to need is you're going to need a pair of new flip-flops and I got these for a dollar and um, you could go in the good um, and the dollar store I mean or dollar general and then these are size as you can see they size nine um, large nine and ten but you could get it any size for girls then you're going to need e6000 glue you're going to need a ruler and you're going to need um, some diamond wrap or bling ribbon, which is, I have this one is bling ribbon. It comes in gold and in white, or you could get the diamond wrap, the diamond wrap in the dollar store. And they have them in green and blue and in, and in yellow gold. And this gold is lighter than this one, okay? You can see the difference. So I'm using the light one, okay? All right. And that's what you could get in the dollar store. Then you're going to need some scissors. And then you're going to need any kind of uh, design, which I'm using um, the mermaids, which I got the mermaids from um, online. And they come in different sizes, as you can see. They have them little size, big size. Oops. They really come in all different sizes, small sizes. If I could get the little one over here. Oh, here goes one. So they come in all sizes and all colors. Okay. So. I got them online and that's what I'm using and then I got this lace butterfly lace online also and that's what I'm using for the back for the back of um, the mermaid which is going to be instead of a butterfly mermaid she's going to be an angel mermaid okay all right okay so let us start. Okay, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take the strap, not the strap, but the, the tags from the flip flop. And I'm not going to take the straps out. I'm going to do it right on the flip flop, okay? Because they're small. All right. I already glued the back of the butterfly to the mermaid and I let it sit overnight with the E6000 because if I try to put glue it there, it won't stay still. Okay. And I forgot also you're going to need some, some um, clothespins for this job. But the clothespin because they were 79 cents in Walmart. So I got a big bag, uh, maybe two dozen or I think four dozen. So I bought two bags, two packs, okay? And they had in different colors. So you're going to need either clothespin or a clamp, okay? All right, so I'm gonna put my sandals to the side. And then what I'm going to do first is I'm going to, um, I think I will do the trim first, okay? Because that way when I do this, I have to clamp it and the clamps are going to be in the way. So I'm going to clamp, I'm going to do the trim first and the measurement of this, I didn't measure it, but what you could do is take your sandal and all you have to do is go around the whole sandal and just cut it because that's what I did. I just went around the whole flip-flop and then I cut it from there. All right, I'm going to take um, my E6000 and I'm going to do the trim first. Usually I do the trim last, I know, but today I'm doing the trim first. 
on this project. Okay, always on the curve you put a little bit extra because especially your daughters are going to wear this or your niece or your cousins or whoever you're going to give it to. So make sure that you put right in the middle and make sure it's nice and even. And I have only two, one, two layers of the trim, okay? You see, sometimes I put three, but I got two because I want to show the green on the top, you know? It looks real pretty like that. Smooth it down. And this trim, I mean, the glue, when you put the glue on the trim and you finish, your whole sandal, you have to really let your sandal sit overnight. Don't let don't let your daughter wear your sandal right away. It has to sit overnight for it could be nice and secure and um nice and, and dried. Because if you she wears it right away, it, it will come out. Okay. So we have to make sure that you leave it, let let it sit for the next day. For it could be nice and dry. And then she could wear it at least 12 to 24 hours be good I usually let it sit for the whole day to the next day because it's better for me you know because I want to make sure it's nice and dry and nice you know in there that it's not loose it's not moist it takes a little while to dry up so all right. Okay. This so this is done over here. Nice and um I think it's um kind of well, I'll leave it like that. It's just right. Make sure you have it even up. It's nice and even. You know, it's nice and even. That way it's not crooked. Line it up really even. So your daughter could have it nice, you know, when she wear it. It's not crooked or and stuff. Just like that. See, over here, I see always over here needs more so I'm going to put a little bit more right there and this is the area that it always needs a little bit extra on the curve you see the curve is where you put a little extra because it usually sometimes pops up you know when it's not enough okay so this is good this is just right for me. So this is the way it should look, just like this, okay? All right, next thing I'm going to do, and this is a fast project, very easy and fast, one, two, three. It's not long. Like I said, I let, I glue this with the E6000 and I let it sit overnight. That way I could just glue it on. I will put ribbon if you want to. You could put ribbon around it and then you could just sew it, sew the um, the angel mermaid, but I'm just gonna glue it, okay? The glue is pretty strong for me too, so I don't need to put the ribbon. All right, now I'm going to do is my measurement on the little straps that goes to the side is two centimeters, going almost two centimeters, as you can see. All right, and that's going to go, you need four of those for each sandals. So that's going to go right here. Right about right there. Okay, like I have it right here. I put it right between the middle. And then the other side too. See, just like that. So that's going to be two centimeters on both sides. 
let me measure this again because I don't know if it's two centimeters. It's a little off. Yeah, it is two centimeters. Okay. All right. Wherever the size, I don't know because you might have a bigger sandal, a bigger flip flop for your daughter. But if you have one small like this, it will be two centimeters. But you could always measure, measure your sand, your flip flops, like you know, because the the ink is going to be here, so you measure it like where you want it. And I want mine to be like that. I could have it one centimeters if I want to, but you know, or one and a half, but I want two centimeters. Okay. All right. So I'm going to put the glue on. And then I'm going to put my bling bling strap right there. That's the way I want it. Now I'm not going to put the clamps in yet. I will put it on when I'm going to put the angel. So I'm just going to leave it like that for now. But when you finish, you put your clamps. Your, um, here, um, not, okay, here. Your <laughs> clothespins. All right. So see, I don't really need to take the strap out because this is one, two, three job. You know, I don't have to really work with it as hard as the other one. So I'm um, just going to put it next one there. It's just really gluing. It's all about gluing. No sewing, just gluing. It is off a little bit too much because I don't want it too much down there. So I'm just, want, I want to have it like around right there. Like that. Okay, even it out, line it up really good. Make sure it's nice and even before you put your clothespins. Now I'm going to glue my butterfly mermaid and put it right in the middle. And what I do is you got to put a lot of glue for it could really stay in there and sit there overnight to the next day. So I put a lot right th like this as you can see right here and right here I know it's a lot but I'm not sewing it so I want it to be nice and strong in there so you put the mermaid right in the middle and then put your wings down for the wings to go on the glue also just like this and put it up a little bit more here we go if you need more glue you put more glue on here okay I'm gonna need a little bit more glue over here on this side because she's sliding down <laughs> because of the glue but I want to put some there because of the the wings all right, and this is the way it should look, just like this. After the video, I will be putting the clamps on. Let me put a little bit more here by her wing, wings. There we go, just like this. And she's good. When I finish, I will put the clamps on to hold her down. But in the meantime, since I'm doing a recording, this is the way she should look like. And I'm all done. Just like this. Thank you for watching, everybody. I'm not worrying about this because I'm going to um, put the hair, um, put the pins on. So, but this is the way it should look, and I'm all done. Thank you again for everybody watching. Don't forget to subscribe my page and ch and share my channel to everybody and leave your comments. 
Okay. And I also have another channel called DIY Easy. You could check that channel out if you want to. All right. May everybody have a blessed day. Okay. Bye. God bless.